In Wallachia, 1455, an aspiring doctor named Lisa seeks out Vlad Dracula Tsepish, a vampire with a high degree of scientific knowledge. Dracula, intrigued by her courage as well as ambition, agrees to tutor her and she offers to help him reconnect with humanity. They fall in love and get married. Twenty years later, 1475, Lisa was burned at the stake in the town of Targoviste after a bishop found scientific instruments in her house and, accused her of witchcraft. Devastated to learn of Lisa's death, Dracula tells the people that they has one year to make peace, after which all of Wallachia will die by his hand. His son Adrian tells him to go after those responsible instead of all mankind, but Dracula refuses to listen and attacks him. As promised, Dracula killed the archbishop, destroyed the church, and ordered an army of demonic night creatures to kill all remaining humans in Wallachia. The Wallachians denounces the kingdom's noble families, including the Belmonts blaming them for the rise in paranormal activity. After an argument in a pub, Trevor Belmont seeks food and rest in the town of Grethit, which is besieged nightly by Dracula's forces. As he walks through town, he learns that the townspeople are blaming a group of nomadic scholars known as the Speakers for Dracula's attacks. Trevor then saves the Speaker Elder from the town's priests. Trevor also insists they leave town for their own safety, but the Elder's granddaughter disappeared after venturing into the catacombs below the town in search of the sleeping soldier, so the Elder refused. The sleeping soldier is a legendary hero believed to be able to defeat Dracula. Trevor reluctantly agrees to find his missing granddaughter. Exploring the catacombs, Trevor discovers that they are unusual structures and contain devices that match the description of devices his ancestors found in Dracula's castle. He is attacked by a one-eyed beast who can turn people into stone with its gaze. He defeats the creature, and breaks its curse on all its victims, and saves the elder's granddaughter, Bernadette Cipher. After returning Cipher to her grandfather, Trevor is summoned to the church by the local bishop, the same bishop who ordered Lisa's execution years ago. He orders Trevor to leave Grethit before sunset, as he plans to lead a mob to kill the speakers, and offers to spare Trevor in exchange for restoring his Belmont family name. Because the speakers refuse to retreat, Trevor hides them in the house and takes on a priest leading a mob before fleeing into the city. Night falls as Dracula's army descends on Grethit. Creatures of the night invade the church and explain to the bishop that God has forsaken him as before he could kill him. The bishop is then devoured. As Trevor continues his make an escape fighting through demons, Sypha starts to help him and she reveals herself to be a powerful sorceress. Trevor reveals that the cleric's actions are the real reason for Dracula's invasion, and he decides to help humans mount a defense against the demons. During a battle, the ground crumbles under Trevor and Cypher, and they plunge deeper into the city's sunken catacombs. They find the sleeping soldier who turned out to be Adrian Dracula's son. He is now called Alucard, and a fight between him Trevor ensues, but Alucard relents after seeing Trevor and Sypha's determination. Alucard reveals that the sleeping soldier myth is actually prophecy, predicting his encounter with Belmont and Cypher and a test of their abilities. They then agreed they must stop Dracula and his onslaught on the Wallachians. We go to flashback showing that while Dracula was away, Lisa's house in Lupu was raided by the bishop and his men, resulting in her being arrested and placed before the Inquisition. Back in the now Dracula assembles his war council, made up of vampire overlords from all over the world, and he places the human necromancers Hector and Isaac at the forefront of the war against humanity. Although he disagrees, believing that leadership should rely on vampires rather than humans, Dracula believes that Hector and Isaac's hatred of humans, in and of itself, makes them more capable. Upon rebuilding, Cypher and Trevor say goodbye to the other speakers while Alucard comes to terms with his decision to kill his father. At the castle, Godbrand I Dracula's generals laments to Hector that their war is being waged without strategy, but with unjust destruction. Hector implies, much to Godbrand's dismay, that Dracula wants all humans to be killed, regardless of the method used. Dracula teleports the castle to another location. Trevor and Cypher reunite with Alucard and ask how to find out if Dracula's castle can move from place to place. Trevor says the fortress beneath the ruins of his family home may contain information about the castle as well as monster hunting gear, so Trevor encourages them to revisit his old family manor. Dracula's generals argue amongst themselves to his actions and asking why he didn't turn Lisa into a vampire, causing further discord on the council. During a trip to the Belmont estate, Trevor's group is attacked by Dracula's forces. The group kills all of the attackers, except for a wounded demon who flees. At Dracula's castle, Isaac one of the necromancer remembers his past and how he killed his former abusive master in a moment that shaped his ideals. Godbrand brings Isaac, a wounded demon, so he may use necromancy to drain information from him. At another meeting, 
The generals debate whether to continue the attack on Arch or move the siege to Brela at Carmilla's suggestion. Isaac informs everyone of his findings, believing Alucard to be working with Belmont. Carmilla urges Dracula to keep an eye on the Belmont mansion, believing it may contain something that could destroy her. Carmilla tries to convince Hector to create a creature to send to Belmont House, while urging Dracula to choose Bryla as his next target. Hector recalls how Dracula found him in Eastern Rhodes and recruited him to raise an army. At the Belmont Mansion Cypher begins researching while Trevor finds several monster hunting weapons, including the Morningstar Whip, while Alucard is haunted by various vampire remains stored there. Godbrand expresses his displeasure with Dracula's plan, believing he would be hungry without human blood to consume as vampires, but Dracula reprimands him. Carmilla tells Godbrand that Dracula must take the castle to Brela, believing that Dracula has become old, and she remembers her father after he grew old and went insane. Godbrand agrees with Carmilla that Dracula cannot take the initiative and something needs to be done to change his plans. At the Belmont Library, Trevor discovers a magic mirror. This allows him to see things far away and allows him to bond with Cypher. Carmilla continues to try to recruit Hector to depose Dracula when the castle is moved to Brela. In a flashback, Isaac recalls how Dracula saved his life and recruited him to create an army after he rode a demonic horse to slaughter humans in a nearby village. Dracula tells Isaac about the war turning against him and confesses to lying to Hector about his intentions to save a few people. Godbrand suggests continuing the war without Dracula. Isaac kills Godbrand for his treachery. Isaac releases Godbrand's ashes from the roof of the castle, and Carmilla orders her army to assemble in Brela. Hector convinces Isaac to agree to attack Brela. Hector informs Carmilla that his night creatures are approaching the Belmont mansion. Isaac discusses Hector's demands with Dracula, but assures him that there is no betrayal to worry about from what he can see. Dracula admit that he doesn't care. Carmilla and Hector approach Dracula, who authorizes an attack on Brela. Carmilla then turned on Hector, stating that she is planning Dracula's impending betrayal which he is now unwillingly a part of and that her plans could not be undone. Sypha found the lock spell of perfection. The library begins to tremble as Hector's creatures of the night arrive and attempt to break in. Trevor fights the demon, Alucard uses a distance mirror to locate Dracula's castle, and Sypha attempts to complete the lock spell. Dracula moves the castle to Brela, and most of the vampire generals lead their army across the bridge to attack the city. On Carmilla's orders, Hector brings the bishop back to life and has him bless the river. Carmilla's forces reveal themselves and take down the bridge, killing many of Dracula's soldiers by the river's holy water. Dracula's remaining forces retreat into the castle while Carmilla's soldiers cross the river on a makeshift bridges. Both armies start fighting in the castle's main hall, while Carmilla and Hector move to another location. Cypher completes the spell just as Trevor defeats the final demon. Her fight against the castle's mechanism caused the castle to teleport within Dracula's castle in Brela, killing most of the two vampire factions. Coming out of the library, Trevor, Cypher, and Alucard storm the castle and defeat the remaining vampires in the main hall. Alucard arrives at the study and attacks Dracula with the help of Trevor and Cypher. The group is eventually overpowered by Dracula, who engages Alucard in hand-to-hand -hand combat, moving through the castle at lightning speed. During the battle they finally reach Alucard's nursery school. Realizing the reality of trying to kill his own son, Dracula is overcome with remorse and he laments to himself before allowing Alucard to kill him by impaling him through the heart. Trevor then arrives and decapitate Dracula and Sypha proceed to burn his remains, leaving only his wedding ring intact. Alucard is saddened that he killed his father, but Trevor and Sypha assure him that it was the right thing to do. At dawn, they all leave the castle. Alucard intends to make Dracula's abandoned castle his grave, but Trevor gifts him the Belmont Library and asks him to protect both ancestral homes, while using their collective knowledge to help people. Meanwhile, Isaac murders a group of invaders and turns them into night creatures to create an army of his own. Taking advantage of the power vacuum created by Dracula's death, Camilla quickly rebuilds her army and enslaves Hector for her own in order to take advantage of his powers. Cypher convinces Trevor to stay with her and join her in her new adventure fighting monsters, and they part ways with Alucard. Left alone in the castle, Alucard breaks down in grief and tears as he recalls the loss of his parents.